everyone today i thought i would do a beauty room tour i'm kind of like doing that because i am currently in the box room <laughs> of my mum's house now quite a few things have changed over the past couple of months and i am back living um with my mum and dad and my <laughs> new husband too is also here so we're, we're all good in that. I feel like when people say they're in between jobs I'm like in between homes <laughs> suddenly. Um, it's all a bit unexpected but essentially I'm here and what I've noticed is the filming setup that I had at my old house I put everything in this room and it looks pretty much exactly the same so I thought this would be really great for you guys to see my filming setup and know that you can actually replicate this yourself and it should look relatively similar. The thing I have is definitely affordable in terms of camera equipment, things can get really really expensive um, so this is something that you still want to build over time. I absolutely love looking at people's beauty rooms. That being said they often have big rooms like built-in storage, built-in drawers, like tons of makeup. This is that is when that's all you see on YouTube you start to think that that's the norm and for somebody who does social media as a full-time job that is not the norm and that might not be the norm for you and it's okay not to have something really fancy and really bougie um maybe one day i will we only moved into this room like three weeks ago this isn't my house i have no plans to decorate it or do anything dramatic yeah okay let's start okay i'm gonna start from outside the room so that we can walk in it's only a little box room um but you know what i am so lucky to be able to have this space especially considering it's not my own house okay so you can't see anything because it's so bright so walking in to the room so let's just start off coming back to the corner this is essentially my room and then that's the door there i'm going to start off with storage because these are the best drawers i have ever bought in my entire life so these are just from wilco's they're just your standard plastic drawers they fit so much in oh god i've just <laughs> broken something they honestly fit so much stuff in and what is great is when i was moving i didn't have to unpack these drawers i can literally just like they're already in boxes this is just my mitchell case this is actually just full of like makeup bags and containers um this is just a bag full of some pr and stuff like that that i've got recently that needs sorting um just there but i've also got them on this side you can see they're jam packed they are about like 10 pounds each they're like 10 pounds each and i'm pretty sure so basically you only get like four and then what i've done is because i've bought multiple ones you can like stack them on top of each other so like these two here i've split into two but if i wanted to i could have like one really tall one you could have like some really small ones and you could have them just like all underneath your desk they are amazing they are so affordable um i love them i'm not the only one who has these drawers i'm pretty sure bernie um from my season of glow up he had put them into the group chat and was like these drawers are amazing i think james possibly then bought them brandon has also got them if i remember rightly and i have also got them we're all using them we all love them 10 out of 10 Wilco's. 10 out of 10 Wilco's, honestly, as much as we all want those Ikea white drawers and stuff like that, Ikea's not that cheap. Ikea is like more affordable furniture, but it's not cheap. Let's not like say Ikea is cheap. It's still gonna cost you a couple of hundred quid to get some drawers. <laughs> but it's just cheaper than other things. That being said, very good value thing is a good old Calyx. I would be dead without these and they were perfect for moving i have another huge one of these over in my bedroom and everything is already stored into boxes so it's perfect for travel for travel i'm not gonna take that around it's perfect if you are somewhere that you're not planning to stay as well they hold a lot actually no do you know what they're perfect for everybody i take that back love a calyx now um can't remember exactly how much the i'll put up on the screen how much these are the white ones are cheaper than the other colors so to get the white one i got the black boxes i'll show you a little bit about what's in them so i use these are so deep and they store so much so i can't even like pull this out this is full of wigs and hair like 
that one's like jam packed. Um, again, this is like hair stuff. This is my bleach Olaplex, um, like hair dye, um, shampoos and like hair straighteners and all stuff like that. Really, really handy. Um, so this is just a spare one that I've got, which is again, full of hair stuff. And that's just got some random crap thrown on there. Okay, I have these two boxes. It made more sense to have plastic boxes because obviously we'll be moving again in the future. Um, so I just want to get some good quality boxes. Um, I will put a link down to these below because plastic boxes like actually aren't that cheap and I did manage to get a good deal on these. Um, and they're, they're really sturdy because a lot of the time you get ones and they're cheap and they're crap. Um, but this was good value for money. So this is all of my eyeshadow palettes. I'm not going to lie because there is so many of them. They are bulky. I probably am going to leave them in that box until further notice, even after we move. Um, they're quite a bulky thing to store. I've got all of my nail things. How cute are my nails? Right, moving on to my desk. I have got some pots of brushes. I've also got my my kit go brush bag um, and actually in here <laughs> this is full of brushes that need sorting um so these are just the ones that i've used recently i've got my microphone there that i often use for youtube videos so in these drawers here these are the stuff that i tend to use every single day just so my palette is not the neatest um, but I just wanted the things out so I could do like my regular makeup in the morning when I'm getting ready for work hello this is my mirror it's so cool how cool is that hair clips this is just like electrical stuff um my daily skincare and then we've got like a basket with like cotton pads in and stuff laptop you know bits and bobs got a printer hey yeah how cute is this sweet machine um on top of my sweet machine i have this alien mask that i made and i'm very very proud of it it was just literally made out of like stuff that you kind of have around your house so like i was quite glad to kind of get that skin effect without it being too professional and then we have some dried flowers here on the back of my door here i have a nice big cozy have a nice big cozy blanket on the back of my door um along with my snuddy is it called a snuddy or snud you know like those big ugly really hideous things but keep you super warm got one of them just got like a mirror up as well okay we're now going to go underneath my desk so this is my chair i actually diy'd this chair it was like an office chair you know, like a really tall one. Um, so if you're filming, you want to make sure that whatever chair you have has a low back because the ones with a high back can be seen on the picture. So I just wanted something comfy and something low back. So I actually literally got a saw and cut it off and it was black leather and I reupholstered it with fabric I already had. So it was like free. It was great. Okay, this is a bin. That's a slipper. All products that I get sent, I tend to sort out and then put into a box there. So that's all new makeup. This is like decorations from my old dressing room that really probably can go up in the loft because I probably don't have the space for them here. Um, little heater to keep warm so I don't have to put all of the heating on. Mini fridge. Um, and then we've just got like brush cleaning stuff here. This is some electrical stuff hidden in that bag. And then this is my Zucker. So that's just my laptop case. Um, so this is what I take to like clients with and I keep that packed at all times. I'll explain my lighting and then I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see properly if you haven't seen my other videos. So a huge, huge, huge thing that people often forget when they're doing their lighting is they don't have a backlight it is super important so i have this trolley here and just sort of like attached to the side i have this this is a floodlight and it changes color so there is a little remote so i keep it on this little wheelie thing and that goes behind me to light up this wall. Plug it in for you. Okay. So this light 
light this entire background. So the closer you have it, the less light it gives. So I tend to pull it out to about here and it lights this entire area and just really, really, really helps to brighten up your pictures. Changes color. So you can have this color, whatever color you like. Like I said, I have a low back chair because a lot of chairs come up to here. So sometimes you can see them there. So this is where I sit. Um, now I'm going to twist you around to the front. This is the camera that I use for filming. I'm currently on my vlogging camera, which really was an extra expense that <laughs> I didn't really need to, to buy. Um, but I just love this little compact one. I then have two lights either side. And that is it up there. I do have a ring light. I did used to use a ring light, um, but I don't really need it anymore. I just have these two and then that backlight. I'm going to link everything down below. Most of the things that I bought or pretty much everything I bought, I get off Amazon. And that is the basic setup and lighting. Now, if anybody does do filming and just wants me to go into a little bit more detail about certain things I've bought, um, then keep watching this video. If that was all you're interested in was a quick tour, then you can pop off. I'm gonna show you guys things that I've bought that have solved massive issues for me because in the past I've bought so many different things and then ended up having to get rid of them and getting something new. So hopefully this um, is gonna help you guys. So the first thing I want to talk about is stands. The two lights you've just seen, they are attached to the table. Okay, they are clamped to the table like that and then stand and they are adjustable. You can have them higher or lower. Because these are attached to my desk, they take up much less room. That means that I can push my desk to the wall and have a lot more space around the rest of the room. When you have your typical tripod stands, they take up a lot of floor space. Because, because of the tripod style legs, you're unable to get things flat to the wall. So it makes your filming area much, much bigger. So if you have a small space, really get them, they're fabulous. Another thing I got, Another option is these. So these are tabletop stands, again, from Amazon. You can see they go on the table and, and then you can get an attachment so that your camera sticks on top of them. These are great, but because I had two lights and a camera on one of these, they kind of just like got in the way of each other a little bit but for somebody with a smaller setup or a slightly different setup maybe you just have the one ring light this could be great it also could be great if you work in a salon and you can just use this you could just use this to do actual clients rather than having a standing one you could literally have this on the table in front of your client these are really good quality and they were super affordable, especially for the quality that they are. Let's talk a little bit about landscape and portrait. So for YouTube, like today, we are doing a landscape filming. That is absolutely fine. I also use my camera for portraits. This is for doing Instagram reels and TikToks. It's all done on my camera. I don't often do anything on my phone. If you're concerned about how to film on your camera and get it to fit the dimensions of an Instagram reel or TikTok, you don't actually, you shouldn't actually have to change any of the settings. All you do is turn your camera on the side, that is it. The problem that you have with ring lights is that sometimes your camera will not be able to physically turn, like there's just not that space. So that is why I have the two lights either side and my camera in the middle. I've got this really handy tool from Amazon and it just means that I can really put my camera in any position that I want. Um, also because I have a screen that sort of flaps open at the bottom um, that obviously takes up more room and can sometimes get in the way um, and that really really helpful it saved me a lot of time um, and stress. I also love about this attachment is that I can access 
my battery and my memory card section without having to take it off of the tripod stand. Your memory card runs out of memory all the time whilst filming and same with your battery. I always make sure I have um, one battery inside the camera and then the other one on charge and then I just swap them. You 100% need two batteries whenever you're doing any form of filming because it is the most annoying thing. Same with memory cards, I have a couple of them. I'm happy with the setup I've got. I do have one thing that's not yet up that I want to show you guys. This is a white roller blind. So what you can do is attach this to the wall and then you literally just pull it down and you have a white backdrop. This room is grey, which actually works perfect for the light. That's that's great. Um, but obviously you might be in a room. Obviously you might be in a different room. Maybe you don't want to re redecorate your whole house just so you can take some photos. Um, you can get one of these. I have attached these to the ceiling and I have done it so it has been pulled down. So that you can pull it down wherever you are that means that let's say you're trying to do makeup and the only space you've got is your living room you live in a flat you don't have a spare room and you're trying to do your makeup and do your filming and you may have the kitchen behind you or you may have the lounge behind you you can put one of these on the ceiling pull it down behind you and you've essentially just created a blank wall perfect for photos you don't have to do your makeup somewhere and then go into a different area to get your photos you can do it all together just make sure that you leave enough room behind you so that you can fit so if you're gonna hang up on the ceiling don't make it go literally directly behind your chair you need to leave a good amount of space so that you can still fit this light in and it can still light up the backdrop. In the past I've used like blackout blinds. If you get a thin blind like this one is, you might actually be able to put the light on the other side and shine it through that way but i haven't actually put that to the test but in theory that should work the cheapest place to get your blinds are done out trust me i have searched absolutely everywhere and um, you think maybe amazon blah 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 no it's 100 percent done elm i'm going to link ones that i've bought in the past it's also going to put, put a link to little things like good value memory cards um and stuff like that one of the memory cards i bought came with a two year subscription i think from a file recovery place um which let me tell you what you need file recovery the amount of times i have deleted things or i have broken my memory card it's been like formatted and trust me you're screwed you've you've lost everything so um recovery services are good they're often quite expensive but i bought this memory card and it came with a subscription if you want me to do some kind of like small bite-sized videos of troubleshooting issues that you may have maybe technical issues to do with memory cards maybe lighting maybe Oh my god, there's so many, there's so many different things. I'm babbling on now. Anyway, I really hope you guys have found this video. Why am I struggling to finish that sentence? I really hope you found this video, full stop. I hope you did find it. If you're watching this, you did in fact find it. Okay. I really hope you guys have found this video helpful. But yeah, that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, follow me on the socials at Jenkins MBA, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!